And we are back with uh, another lesson with David Garibaldi, drummer for the Tower of Power. Can't believe that you're actually here out at our Drumio studios. Thank you so much for coming out. It's a pleasure. We've been having a lot of, a lot of fun. We have. Uh, one thing we wanted uh, to ask David to teach was the Oakland Stroke. And uh, you made a comment how you've taught this a lot over the years. And uh, we just really wanted to kind of teach it Drumio style. And, sure. and so uh, we're going to talk a little bit about that. If, if you don't know what the Oakland Stroke is, you're, you're about to find out. Right. Uh, it's kind of one of your legendary signature drum grooves. Well, it kind of happened by accident. Okay. You know? So um, we had been rehearsing, um, writing songs, yeah. you know, at the gut. I mean, a couple of our guys are the main songwriters in the band, Emilio and Doc. We always used to get together and rehearse and write at their house. And I had this little practice, Remo practice pad drum set yeah. that I used to use so that we could, you know, we wouldn't disturb people, you know, and we could write all night and not, you know, drive people nuts. Yeah. And so one night we're over there playing and we start jamming and I come up with this beat, which was exactly this, but I was playing it on a Remo practice pad kit, right? Yeah. And so I started fooling around with it on the drum set and it sounded pretty good. Yeah. So we would jam on this in rehearsals, you know, with the bands rehearsing and stuff. We would kind of mess around with it. Nothing ever really came of it. It was just something that we were doing, right? And this was before we had gotten into the whole concept of playing beats, you know, using beats in the songs that had no two and four, right? Mm, yeah. So. We then did the Tower of Power album, which had What Is Hip, Soul Vaccination, some of those things that were kind of starting to get away yeah. from, you know, the tra you know, traditional drum, you know, funk drumming, right? right? We were doing Back to Oakland. We were recording it up in Seattle. I had finished all my tracks, and I went back, to, flew back to the Bay Area. And um, a week or so later, the leader, Mimi, he calls me, and he says, hey, we don't have enough songs. Yeah. What? <laughs> we need another song. Yeah. You know, because you had to have a certain number of songs to fill up, you know, the vinyl, right? Mm -hmm. So we had nothing. So I had to go back up to Seattle. And the only thing that I could think of was this drum beat. So I played the drum beat. And we, you know, started putting ideas with it and came up with the Oakland Stroke, which we called the Oakland Stroke, which is just a jam mm -hmm. with solos on it, right? And then we used it to introduce the record and to close it, kind of like bookends, right? But kind of the genesis of this idea, right, came from me uh, learning how to play you know, samba, right? And have, you know, the foot ostinato going, right? right? And so I thought, well, what if I take the foot pattern and play it up here? Mm -hmm. And then build something around that, right? Mm -hmm. So I came up with. One, two, three. The Oakland Stroke. So when we were putting it together, you know, Rocco, our bass player, is a very intuitive kind of a player. He doesn't have knowledge about what he's doing or anything, but he plays with a drummer like nobody's business. He's absolutely fantastic. Right. So when we were rehearsing it, what I, he's kind of looking at me in a sort of this puzzled kind of way. We're trying to figure out what to do. I said, I played the beat for him. I said, okay, in those places where the hi hat is opening, don't play anything. Mm -hmm. And then let's just see what it sounds like, right? right. So he did that. He kind of like rested during those spaces and then played in the rest of the phrase, you know? Yeah. Which created that open space in the middle, right? Which made it sound like one was in a different place and all that, you know? Right. So it's pretty cool. Sounds very cool. Yeah. 
Well, th thank you for sharing it with it's, us. It's my pleasure. Really appreciate it. And again, again, thank you for coming to Drumeo. And if you haven't checked out uh, David's course, we have a full course inside of Drumeo. And uh, if you haven't checked out his live lesson, it's on YouTube as well as inside of Drumeo. So check that out. Um, you also have some great educational materials. You have uh, a book, Off a the Record. A book that's coming out uh, yeah. called Off the Record, yeah. uh, put out by Alfred Publishing. It's just getting ready to come out. And um, it's 10 transcriptions of Tower Power songs, Soul Vaccination, Squib Cakes, What Is Hip, a lot of the ones that I get questions about. Mm -hmm. And so I transcribed everything. I did all the transcriptions myself. Mm -hmm. I didn't you know, hire someone to do it. This is all <laughs> done in-house, yeah. mine, <laughs> yeah. right? And uh, it turned out really, really great. Yeah, I've, I've seen it. And uh, you know, this video, depending on when you're watching it, you might, you're likely watching it when the book is already out. And so definitely go check it out. It's by Al uh, Alfred, Alfred Publishing. Publishing yes. Alfred Publishing, um, and it's called Off the Record. So, so check that out. Again, thank you for coming out, man. Thank you so much, man. It's been a pleasure. And so hopefully you get to come out again soon, uh, sooner rather than later. And, yeah, we'll uh, do it again. Get to your kits. Get to your, now get to your kits and practice that open stroke. <laughs>